Hey guys, welcome back for another weekly update video. Some awesome stock has arrived, uh, including this Hornby train system and the brand new DX80 from Spectrum. So let's get into it and I'll show you what we've got. If you're looking to get started with model trains and railway systems, uh, the Hornby Junior Pack is a great way to go. Now this is aimed at kids ages four and up. Um, it's a really simple system, simple clip to get the track, comes with some accessories like a tunnel and a station in this package. Um, and it's battery powered, so a lot of train systems conventionally are powered by mains power. Um, you don't have to deal with any of that, so kids don't have any chance of unplugging wires or getting shocked or anything like that. Um, two AA batteries go in the train um, and you're ready to rock and roll up on the track. Uh, it's got three carriages as well, so a great set, a great way to get started and a great present, present for kids of all ages. <laughs> A brand new product that's just arrived from GameSir is the highly anticipated controller to suit the Rise Tello powered by DJI. This is a fantastic option uh, for those of you that may already have the drone uh, and want to have a physical controller to hold. Um, conventionally with the Tello you would fly it via the virtual joysticks which are on the application on your device, uh, whatever that may be, phone or tablet. Um, this works with the aircraft via Bluetooth that gives you a nice little uh, capture to put your device in. So this is going to fit a phone, um, the tablet's going to be a little bit big for this, but it's a sliding lock, your phone will sit in there, you'll be able to see what the camera's seeing to fly the aircraft FPV and have a controller in your hand. Now this looks very similar to a conventional gaming controller, um, works quite well, it's going to give you a different feel and just a bit of different scope um, on flying the aircraft. Now it is quite affordable as well, so a nice addition for the Tello. Uh, for those of you out there that may want to have a physical controller, this would be a great option. We've just had a Spectrum order arrive and we've had restock of our two most popular Surface receivers, that being the SR210 and the SR310. Now these are a DSMR protocol receiver, work with all of the Spectrum Surface radios, and uh, one is a two channel, one is a three channel. Now these will drop straight into your car and they're a great option uh, if you're looking for another receiver for multiple cars using the same radio, this would be what you look at. Uh, how you would choose which one uh, to purchase is by the channel requirement. So if your car only has two servos, uh, all you're gonna need is a two channel receiver. Uh, maybe you have a rock crawler with a, a gear shifting servo, uh, maybe you have dual steering servos, a three channel would be perfect for that. The DX8E from Spectrum has finally arrived. Now, if you remember back a few episodes ago, we did do a preview on this radio. Spectrum was kind enough to send us uh, an early production version for us to take a look at, have a bit of a play with, see what it's all about. So we've kind of covered a little bit of this radio, but they finally come into stock. Uh, the DX8E is gonna be a fantastic way uh, to have an eight channel radio at an affordable price point. Now, all of the DX8Es that we have will be transmitter only. So that means there's no receiver included. Uh, this can be of benefit, especially to those who are purchasing um, bind and fly aircraft from E-Flight or Park Zone. You don't need the receiver, the aircraft comes with a receiver built into it. So this radio would be perfect for that. Uh, plug your specs into the radio and bind it up and you're ready to go flying. So a nice way to save a bit of money on a receiver that you may not use. Uh, as far as usability and interface, this radio is very similar to all the other Spectrum uh, models on the market at the moment. Uh, your standard scroll and click wheel uh, to go through your menus, it uses DSM-X protocol, backwards compatible with DSM-2 as well. So you have a wide range of receiver, com uh, receiver compatibility with this radio. Probably one of the neatest features on this um, is the mode change switch on the back. So much like the DX6E, which already exists, the dx 80 boasts this mode change switch. What that means is every radio comes pre-configured in mode two, uh, but to change it to mode one, you only need to literally flip a switch on the back of the radio. This will do all your physical change, and then you need to go into the menu and tell the radio what mode you need it to be. So all in all, it's about a minute, maybe a two minute, um, job to change the mode. So if you do fly mode one out of the box, uh, out of the box, you'll need to go and change the mode on the radio. If you fly mode two, it is, comes ready to go out of the box. So a fantastic radio and a really affordable way to get yourself a full range eight channel system from Spectrum. The AMP by ECX is a fantastic car, comes in a variety of versions and has just arrived back into stock. This car is super popular, comes in a monster truck style body shell or a desert buggy style body shell. Um, as you can see on the box here and the car I have in front of me, there is two colorways for each shell version. So two colorways in the monster truck, 
two colorways in the buggy also. Now this car is a two-wheel drive, so a real drive, uh, brushed electric car, comes ready to run. So it has everything in the box you need. Uh, you've got the um, battery in the car, your transmitter, even comes with double A's for the transmitter. Uh, has a wall charger for charging the battery in the car. So all you really need to do is charge the battery up uh, that's included and then go out and drive. Uh, you're gonna get about 15 minutes runtime out of the battery, the stock battery, um, and you can upgrade and purchase a battery aftermarket with a higher capacity to give you a longer runtime. So this is fantastic, um, fantastic for kids, fantastic for people getting into the hobby, looking for a first car, something that's durable um, and you know is gonna give them enjoyment as well as not break the bank and let them sort of cut the teeth, get into it, have a go. Um, speaking of durability, we do have full parts support for this car as well. So if you jump on our website in our spare parts tab, you'll see every part is listed. You can purchase everything down to screws and O-rings on their own. So you're not wasting money if this thing you know, in inevitably does break, you can get it fixed. It's nice and cheap. It's a really stout car. So a fantastic option for those looking to get into the hobby. Uh, have a look at the ECX AMP. Thanks for joining us again today, guys, to take a look at what we've received this week. Some fantastic product, uh, some brand new stuff like the DXAD and the GameSir controller, and also some restock on some very popular items. If you'd like any more information on anything that we've covered in the video today, please check the links in the description below. Uh, otherwise, I'm Andrew from Modelfly, and we'll see you next week.